Welcome to Ride School, a wonderful place to learn and grow. A safe, secure environment full of light and natural beauty. Red boy, yellow boy. As an independent school, we're free to make our own decisions on the curriculum and activities that we offer. I'm very mindful of the responsibilities and opportunities that that freedom brings. Opportunities that allow us to create a curriculum that's flexible enough to appeal to the whole of our very diverse student body. Because it's quite a small school um, and you get quite small classes, you get to really know the teachers and they can take you aside and work one to one to get the best out of you, which is something I really benefited from coming from my old school and they've really helped me to do the best that I could and I've been pretty thankful. And it's so friendly, like they'll come and help you at any time, which is really good. So yeah. if you're having any problems or anything, you can just kind of go knock on their door and they'll come and help you. We also have a responsibility to raise the aspirations and ambitions of our pupils, to use this magnificent and secure setting as a safe harbour from which to take risks and face the challenges of a competitive world. Before the crash, so many economists would ignore things like derivatives and their position in the financial sector. And that may be one of the reasons why economics had that disconnect with reality. So we talk about disconnects with reality or realities, and we're therefore talking, I suppose, about truths generally. I was two and a half when I joined. I think I was like five. No, I think you must have been three. Because it, was, it was year one, nice. and that's four years. And how long have you got? Uh, six months. <laughs> yeah, six months left. Crazy. And where are you off to after that? Um, hopefully university. Yeah. <laughs> King's hopefully for me. And yeah. Medical school. I'd like Exeter would be nice. Exeter. Exeter would be Exeter nice. Would be what are you going to study? Well, I'd like to do medicine. I want to do geography. Medicine, hopefully, at Edinburgh or Bristol. Whilst justifiably proud of our academic results, seven pupils hold Oxbridge offers, for example, this year. We're also committed to educating the whole child. Sport, drama and music all flourish. Just leave it, say, like four beats or something and then go into your emotion. It's really different to any drama that yeah. you've done before. We have very strong CCF and Duke of Edinburgh groups and our award-winning and new Benbridge building hosts innovative and creative art and design technology. Hopefully I'm going to do special effects and model making. You did Great loads of research before, didn't yeah. you, about the, kind of the, the traditions and the theory of composition. This is where a lot of us started. One quarter of 24. Fantastic, well done, well done, well done. Hello. Oh, come on in. You've come to say hello. You can indeed. They're pretty whizzy at doing the times tables. Some yeah. of them can say their tables oh in under 10 seconds, properly in right. four. Yeah, <laughs> so they're pretty whizzy. We play cars at the beginning of lessons. Mm. One of the joys of being head of the junior school is seeing our pupils go through the senior school and go off to university. We believe you get the foundations right here in the junior school, that they will make good progress all the way through their academic career. Get them ahead, they'll stay ahead. Duke of Edinburgh's award, you've done bronze, silver and gold. Yes, is that right? Yes. You're in a, quite a long line of gold students. You'll be the 75th gold 75th. award. 75, yeah. 75! Yeah. <laughs> that's an enormous amount of students. And that's broaden your edu education? Yeah, because I've done music <coughs> and sport as well as the walking mm. and the team, mm. team play. <laughs> I was introduced to rugby here at Ride in Year 7. Um, and we train about three or four times a week, which is good. We do two sports at the same time, so we do netball and hockey. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's really good a way of making new friends and kind of working yeah. as a team. Especially at commitment. Yeah. yeah. Most of the sports are team sports, you get to know everyone in your yeah. year yeah. better. And it also helps where kind of the first teams have the year below in as well, and yeah. it yeah, yeah, gains a relationship good. between those two years as well. Yeah. Everyone can have their own. Thing to do, even yeah. if they don't like sport, there's lots of other clubs you can yeah. take part in. We made our own club. We've we have had the opportunity we made a to make a club. club. There's like in house competitions like um, chess, football, rugby, cricket, netball, uh, rounders, and hockey, and, and gymnastics and health related fitness. And, and Zumba. Oh, yeah. It's just a really friendly school, I think. That's for me the main thing. 
Um, but I think also because it's quite small, everyone gets involved in everything, which is really nice. So even things you haven't done before, like conducting. <laughs> I think, oh yeah, I was conducting the orchestra and I've never done that either. But it's just stuff like that you just you would never have expected to do and you just kind of get involved in, which I think is so nice. It's just so many school. opportunities. Yeah, so many. It's really nice. The post-1989 world is very different to the one I grew up in. And if our pupils are to flourish, they need to have a global outlook with the technical and social skills to support that. With our international borders, the international baccalaureate and the work we're doing in languages and in computing, we're working hard to make that happen.